Good day. My name is Imani. I'm a local health worker. I work with pregnant women at the local health clinic. Today I'm going to check the blood pressure and heart rate of pregnant women using a cradle VSA. This is a device that measures blood pressure and heart rate. All women should have these checks in pregnancy to make sure they're healthy. It's important to check the blood pressure and heart rate of pregnant women because the measurement can detect conditions that could cause the woman and baby harm. High blood pressure can be a warning sign of preeclampsia, a condition that can occur in pregnancy. If left untreated, it's dangerous for the baby and could cause the woman to suffer a fit, stroke or even die. Low blood pressure can be a warning sign of bleeding or infection. If untreated, this could also cause the woman and baby to die. The new cradle VSA is simple to use. If it shows the green light, the woman is likely to be healthy. If it shows a yellow light with an arrow pointing up or down, more checks or treatment are required. If it shows a red light, urgent action is needed. I'll begin by showing you how to use the cradle VSA. Before the test, if the woman is well, she must rest for five minutes. Then she must sit with her back supported and her feet flat on the floor. Remove clothing from her upper arm and rest her arm on a stable surface. There are two cuff sizes. The standard size will fit most women. Put it on and slide it into place. As you tighten the cuff, the metal bar should pass over the black marker. If it does not, the cuff is too small, use the large cuff. Check that the yellow tab is above the woman's elbow crease. There should be a two finger gap between the cuff and elbow. Press the on button. Wait to hear a beep noise and then the cradle VSA is ready to use. Make sure the woman sits still and quiet. Begin pumping. Stop when you hear another beep noise. This will be at a number above 180. If the rising pointers appear again, pump the cuff until they disappear. The cuff will deflate on its own. Wait until the blood pressure and heart rate are shown on the screen. If you see a green light, the woman's blood pressure and heart rate are normal. If you see a yellow light with an arrow pointing up or down, you should always take the measurement again after 15 minutes of rest. If it's still yellow, more checks or treatment are required. I'm going to explain what to do if the light is yellow and the arrow is pointing up. An arrow pointing up means the blood pressure is high. She may have preeclampsia. If you can, 1. Check her urine for protein. 2. Take bloods to measure her blood count, kidney and liver function. 3. Monitor the fetus. 4. Give medication to reduce the blood pressure, such as methidopa or nephidipine. If you cannot do these things, then you should send the woman to the nearest healthcare facility that can carry out these actions within 24 hours if possible. I'm now going to explain what to do if the light is yellow with an arrow pointing down. If the light is yellow with an arrow pointing down, this means the blood pressure is low or the heart rate is fast. You need to assess the patient to decide what to do. Is she bleeding? Does she have a fever? Does she have constant pain? If the woman does not have these problems, and if she looks and feels well, you do not need to take urgent action. 
A yellow light with a narrow pointing down can be normal in pregnancy. But she could be dehydrated or anemic. You should consider tests to check for these. If the light is yellow with a narrow pointing down, and if the woman has bleeding, a fever or constant pain, or if she looks or feels unwell, you need to take action now. If she's bleeding, start a drip or blood transfusion. If she has delivered her baby, massage the uterus and give medications to contract the uterus such as oxytocin or misoprostol. If there are signs of infection, start antibiotics and a drip. If you cannot do these things, then you should send the woman urgently to the nearest healthcare facility that can carry out these actions within four hours if possible. Now I will explain what to do if you see a red light. If you see a red light with an arrow pointing up or down, you should always check again. If it's still red, it's an emergency and you must take urgent action. If the light is red with a narrow pointing up, the blood pressure is very high and the woman needs treatment. She may have severe preeclampsia. 1. Assess the woman. 2. Give medication to reduce the blood pressure. 3. Consider magnesium sulfate if she's at risk of having a fit. 4. Consider delivery of the baby. If you cannot do these things, then you should send the woman urgently to the nearest healthcare facility that can carry out these actions within four hours if possible. If the light is red with an arrow pointing down, the blood pressure is very low and heart rate very fast. The woman may have severe infection or bleeding. This may be life-threatening. 1. Call for help. 2. Start resuscitation. 3. Treat the cause. If you cannot do these things, then you should send the woman to the nearest healthcare facility that can immediately. You've learned how to use the Credo VSA to check blood pressure and heart rate and now you can use the traffic lights to help support your care for women. Remember, if the light is green, the woman is likely to be healthy. If the light is yellow with an arrow pointing up, this could mean she has a preeclampsia and more checks are required. If the light is yellow with an arrow pointing down, this is common in pregnancy but could also signal a problem that is developing. You need to assess the patient and decide how to act. If the light is red with a narrow either up or down, this is an emergency and urgent treatment is needed. Thank you for watching.